Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Play action good for about four yards. The play action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Check, nice check, play. Check, 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 check. Catches it and he's looking for more. He steps out right around the 32 yard line. He's got the tailback on another catch. And they hit him in the backfield. Good possession there for the defense. For a loss behind the line at the 30-yard line. Fourth down. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 33. Toledo's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. Second and 14. Ball on the 28-yard line. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. Motion, motion, motion. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That's a team six on the play. That'll make it 39. He's under pressure. He heaves it deep. No, incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Wide receiver's role in a play action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling the route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 34. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Throws it in a hurry, and they make the stop at the 24. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. They come out in an empty backfield. Play to set up first and goal. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. That 
was a well drawn up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. A six play, 70 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So our score, seven nothing. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He goes around the 39 yard line. And 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. And he shoved out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He sails it long. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 45-yard line, it's third down. Out of bounds, around the 47-yard line. They'll bring it out to the 20. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 16. Baylor up seven points. Red two. Runs it right. Nice pickup. He chucks it downfield. And a great catch. And he's taken down right around the 30. Especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From the 30 yard line, second down, they'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 26. In the shotgun and five wide out. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out around the 14-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Go, kill him! Three, eight, two, check, 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 check. Go! Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Second and goal. 
from the four yard line. Second down. Baylor is up seven. Check three, check two, three. Touchdown, Bears. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bears are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 23 yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series. Everything clicked for him. We're through one quarter. Baylor's lead is two touchdowns. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Oh, excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll make the sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst it's thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, get but getting long. hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's out of bounds around the 29-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. And watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 34-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled at about the 49. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Going long. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. That's a game of the way. First down. Caught end zone for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point.
Toledo to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Baylor is up by a touchdown. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40. Today, nine. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. That's a great tackle at the 38. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. This one's going deep to the end zone. He scores. What a play. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 21-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Get to that quickly. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. Number one, that was his intent to receive on that play. Fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. The Bears are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. 
Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Zips it to the back. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29. Mike 34, Mike 34. Hit. Hit. Fires across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 33 yard line. That's good to have the That'll bring up third and six. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. He zips it, catches it to the 20. Tackle made around the 11-yard line. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Bears use their second timeout. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Slings it. Toledo is going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and ten. Brought down at the 35. Toledo's going to have to use their second time out of the half from the 35 yard line. It's first down. Catches it, and that's all. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And he might want it all here and does. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. From the 22-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. He heaves it to the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown. Pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play.
and he hits the PAT. An eight play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 28-14. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Throws it deep. Can't connect. Number 16 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on the 30-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. They bring the quarterback down. So we've played two quarters. The Bears lead it 28-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackling at the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and 10. Pass is tipped away. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Down! 10-19! And he just gets rid of it. Stop around the seven yard line. That's a gain of 10. That brings up second and nine. Now he's scrambling and he's going to come up with a sack. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's 
side. That makes it fourth and long. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. First and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Fires it out. The five. Touchdown Bears. That's his third toss for a score. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. Tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Right in the middle, and he meets the defense. No big on the play. That makes it second and ten. Set, alert, go! Ruin, ruin! And he's taken down around the 33 yard line. Number 18 makes the tackle at the 33 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Hey, hey, hey! There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at about the 45. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Wants to go long and does. And he's got it. 
touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Tackle at the two-yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the two. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rockets coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. Throwing left. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 38. on the run. Tackle made the 39-yard line. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Right now, after a nice run up the middle. Is one for the end zone. Intercepted. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. From their own 20 yard line, first down. for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Baylor's in front by 11. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Set, open. That's a 
great tackle at the 24-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 24-yard line, third down. complete and taken down immediately. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. Brought down at the 34.
Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. The 38 yard launch. Number 33 with the tackle. Down. The 38 yard launch. Third down. down. Mike, Mike 34. Mike 34. Easy. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 30. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. This freshman does a good job of reading and reacting to the play from his spot in the secondary, and he makes a good tackle. Tackle around the three-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run, so it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and he got it. Baylor is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And he's taken down at the 16. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kurt. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. Somehow, even with all his great passing stats, they still trail by a decent amount. So expect this crowd to get even louder here, trying to be the 12th man. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 22-yard line. Six-yard pickup. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. The spike will stop the clock. That'll make it 35. From their own 22-yard line, third down. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. Hey. hey. Throws it deep. This one is batted away. Number one, the intended receiver. That'll bring up fourth and five. Just under two to go in the game. He's under pressure. Quick talks. Great concentration to pull it in. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. Number three on the tackle at the 30 yard line. That makes it second and six. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. A little toss across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. Receiver dropped it incomplete. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Caught out of the open, and he tackles him hard at the 13 yard line. That's a game of seven. That makes it third and three. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Caught open field. And down he goes at the five-yard line. Check, check. Five, five, five. Check nine, check nine. That makes it first and goal. Under a minute left in the game. Finds a man. Touchdown. What a time for that touchdown. And now they've still got a chance in this game. Tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 82-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Toledo's staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Number 44 on the tackle with the 46-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. From the 46-yard line, it's third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 35. And here's a quick throw. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. He's going to air it long. Toledo's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.